What's up, C O L? It's your man, C Mill. C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. How you doing today? How you doing? Everything is going great today. Everything is going wonderful. I pray that your family is having a great day and you are also. Today, your man, C Mill. C from the D would like to talk to you about the narcissistic speed round. The narcissistic speed round. The narcissistic speed round is when the narcissist is rushing you to do every and anything. They rush the dates. They rush the time that you spend together. They rush y'all saying y'all love each other. They rush the courting process. It ain't even really one because they rush it so bad. But the speed route, they're rushing the whole momentum of the situation. Why, you might ask? Why would they rush it? Think about it for one second. They rush it because they're moving everything at such a fast pace. You can't think straight. You know what I'm saying? Bam, they hitting you with sex all the time. Bam, bam, bam. They hitting you with, let's go out. Bam. Oh, I can't wait to see you. Bam, I miss you. Bam. You know what I'm saying? Calling you all the time. Smothering you. Taking up all your time. And stealing from you your privacy Stealing from you your alone time. Stealing from you the time to think. They press everything and make it the speed round because they're they're speeding everything up so you don't get a time chance to think. So your senses don't even get a chance to pick up on that like something is wrong, you know. They trying to mirror you and figure out everything about you so fast, so underhandedly, so sneakily. So just being, just being, uh, they in, uh, what's they call, what's the word, uh, recon mode, you know what I'm saying? They like, they trying to get, gather all the information that they can from you, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, they're trying to coerce you into believing that, you know, they really into you like that, you know what I'm saying? Because they're trying to be everything that a man or a woman can be to the opposite. You know what I'm saying? To try to tantalize all your, you know what I'm saying, all your um, receptors, you know. So, you know, they trying to, and then they want to ask you, ask you questions like, uh, find out bad stuff, you know, about you. And they'll ask you, you know, stuff What's your innermost fears? What you fear the most? You know, um, what you wanted wanted to be? They they act like oh, you know, like they all in. They really plant it in your head. Plant that seed of interest. Plant that seed of like they really really want to be with you. Like you the only one. But it's really they're planting doubt. They're trying to make you doubt that. This person doesn't like you. They want you to doubt that they would do anything against you to hurt you. They want you to doubt that they would ever go against you. They want you to doubt, you know, everything that could be negatively said about another person. They want you to believe like they the best thing since sliced bread. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the narcissistic speed round is a dangerous one. very dangerous because they have made you the target and they want to destroy it and take away all your good energy and all the essence of you being a good person having virtues morals manners you know what i'm saying the things that make up you know a sigma male or female you know what i'm saying or an empathic male or female, or, or, you know, just a really good person that has good energy, self-motivated, you know what I'm saying? They want all of that. They are, they, they are envious of that. But you know they live in fear. So they're trying to attack you like, um, you know, the Trojan horse thing. 
Like, you remember when all the soldiers were in the Trojan horse and uh, they put it in the middle of their town and they crept out in the middle of the night and, you know, killed their, slaughtered everybody. That's how they're, that's the, the speed round is to basically take you down, you know what I'm saying, discombobulate all your senses that, it's, hey, something is wrong here. Uh, let me read this quick passage to you. Um, the Lord protects and keeps him alive. He is, he is called blessed in the land. You do not give him up to the, wild, the will of his enemies. The Lord sustains him in the sick bed, and in his illness you restore him to full health. As for me, I am, I said, the Lord, be gracious to me, heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of me in malice, when will he die and his name perish? And when, and when one comes to see me, he utters empty words while his heart gathers iniquity. When he goes out, he tells it abroad. All who hate me whisper together about me. They imagine the worst for me. They say that deadly things poured out on him. He will not rise from the from where he lies. Even my close friend whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted his heel against me. Even but you, O oh Lord, be gracious to me and rise rise me raise me up, that I may repay them. By this I know that you delight in me. My enemy will not shout and triumph over me.